Hey guys, we've got a, a little battery tester that was sent to us that we're going to review and uh, take a look at it. This is the BM580 by King Bolin. And uh, this does 6 and 12 volt batteries. And we're going to get it out of the box and we're just going to hook it up and we're going to get going. So it does come with a uh, USB, uh, what is that, a, uh, what do they call that? Mini USB, I believe, for updates. Uh, it does come with a manual. Manual is pretty nice. It walks you through every single part of this uh, tester. That's where you'd plug in the mini USB and update the unit uh, whenever they have updates come out. Uh, and it's your basic little uh, battery tester. So let's go over here. Let's get hooked up to the uh, truck and see what this will do. Now, because of the uh, sun... I've got a uh, blanket over the hood here, so hopefully you'll be able to see the display. Okay, now this battery, just so you know, before we get into it, let me show you this in case you don't know. Now, this is an uh, AGM battery. This battery is about five years old, so it's probably not going to show 100% health. But this is an AGM battery. It is a 710 cold cranking amp, 885 cranking amps. 120 reserve capacity and 70 amp hours uh, So you're going to want to look at your battery and uh, you're going to at least need to know the cold cranking amps And whether it's AGM or a regular flooded or uh, Whatever kind of battery it is. Let me get the camera set up here and we're going to get going Okay, so the first thing that uh, I do want to do is I just want to make sure that this will uh, not be damaged if you hook it up backwards, it says it's got uh, reverse polarity protection. So I'm going to I'm going to intentionally hook this up backwards. OK, so negative is on the positive. Come over here. We're going to hook this one up to the negative. And of course, I doubt anything's going to pop up here on the screen. Uh, so now let's go ahead and hook it up properly. Okay, battery analyzer, and you can see it's got check, waveform, playback, records, setup, and multimeter, and we're going to go through all these, but uh, right now we're going to go ahead and hit check. Uh, it does do 6 and 12 volt. This is a 12 volt battery, so we'll go over here to 12 volt. We'll go ahead and do quick test, then we'll do in vehicle test, and then we're going to do, well... We're not going to do out of vehicle because the battery is not out of the vehicle. But if you had your battery up on the workbench or whatever, then you can do an out of vehicle test. So let's do quick test. Please confirm that the negative. Uh, please confirm that the engine is turned off. Otherwise, the test results will be affected. And this was a 70 amp hour battery. So let's go ahead and switch this over to 70. Let's see how high it'll go, amp hour wise. Okay, it'll go to 220 amp hours. Let's take her back down to 70. And it's showing state of health, 93%. Truck has been sitting for about, a, uh, probably about 45 minutes. I did uh, move it over here into the shaded part of the driveway. Um, and if you look at this arrow right here where it's showing 541 amps, you can move that down. Uh, so this is state of health. If you move that down, you've got state of charge. Showing 1%. It's showing normal. Uh, and it's basing that on this voltage. Now, this battery is five years old. Actually, this month is five years. This is July of 2024. This battery uh, has a sticker on the side showing July of 2019. And it has been sitting for about 45 minutes. Uh, from me just moving it to this side of the driveway and it does have a uh, dash cam that's got parking mode so even with the vehicle off that dash cam continues to record uh, but it's showing 12.01 volts so battery is getting weak let's go ahead and back out of this and I think you saw there where it showed the uh, let's go back into that your resistance so you've got your resistance at 4.75 milliohm Showing standard, 560 amp. 
So let's go out of this. We're going to do in vehicle. Uh, we'll start with the battery test, which is basically what we just did. Engine is turned off. Uh, this is an AGM. We're going to do cold cranking amps. And this, uh, what was it? 710. And the book says that it'll go up to 2,000 cold cranking amps. Okay, state of health, 58%. Uh, like I say, the vehicle has been sitting for about 45 minutes. It's set overnight, and all I did is I started it, and I moved it over uh, about 20 feet into the shaded part of the driveway. So, and, you know, like I say, this battery is five years old. Uh, so there's your resistance at 4.75. Your cold cranking amps, it's showing, is calculated at 541, even though it should be 710 is what this battery was new. Uh, our voltage has dropped to 11.99 volts. And uh, even though this is your state of health, if we go down, you've got your uh, state of charge. Now it's showing zero because a fully charged battery is considered to be 12.6 volts. And this battery is already down to 11.9 volts. So it's not happy with that voltage for this battery. We haven't had any problems with this battery starting this vehicle, so we haven't really worried about it. But more than likely, whenever winter time comes here in a few more months, we'll probably start seeing some uh, problems with it. So let's back out of that. Um, and remember, you'll want to select what type of battery you've got. Remember, this was an AGM uh, flat-plated battery. So let's go to charging test. We'll hit go. Let me go ahead and start it up. We've got a ripple test. I'm not going to rev it to 2500. Uh, so the loaded and unloaded test might be pretty close to one another. So it's showing the loaded at 14.10 and unloaded at 14.25. The ripple was 50 millivolts, which is well within a good range. Results are showing normal. So all that looks good. Uh, startup test, which is with your starter. I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn the engine off. Start engine. I went ahead and turned the engine back off so that you can hear me better. So the time it took to start was 610 milliseconds, so a little over half a second. Starting ability was normal. The voltage drop was 10.8 volts. So that's all considered normal. Then you've got the load test. Full load, keep 2,000 to 2,500 RPM, hit OK. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to rev the engine to 2,000. We're just going to go ahead and hit OK. OK, the current voltage is 12.35. Minimum 12.34 to 12.8. There actually, I guess that's less than 12.8. Uh, I'm not sure what we're actually supposed to be seeing here. Load capacity is showing good. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We're at 12.29. Showing minimums 12.28. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll hit OK to that. Actually, I guess we need to back out of that. And... Of course, you can do your out-of-vehicle battery test. Your waveform. Now, that's kind of neat. Let me uh, let me start it up, and then I'll turn it off, and then we'll put some different loads on it. And, uh, you know, you could actually monitor your uh, battery voltage if you were suspecting, you know, different modules from not 
shutting off when they should and this and that. You could actually watch that. Of course, it gives you a live reading. Uh, the max is 12.26. Right now, the, cur the current reading is 12.22. Minimum is 12.22. Let me go ahead and start it, and then I'll kill it, and then I'll turn different loads on. And yeah, that showed a that showed a nice little spike in voltage and dip in voltage. So okay, so there's that. That was waveform. Of course, we got playback, waveform playback. Got a couple of different uh, playbacks there. Let's go ahead and hit OK to that and see uh, see what we got. And I hope this is all coming through clear on the camera. So we should see the start up here in a minute, which would be a voltage a voltage drop and then a uh, voltage rise when the alternator comes online. Okay, there's the start up. You can see the voltage drop. Then you can see the alternator coming online. And then I shut it off. Nice little waveform there. That's pretty neat. Of course, you can clear the records. Uh, last record. Okay, that I guess that's just going to show the. Whoops, the last record. Oh, okay. So this shows you all your readings. And of course, we got set up. And we got multimeter. What's that? Well, that's kind of neat so you can see the white line right here that's the current voltage and it's showing that it is within the green band uh, which would mean that it, it, it's okay it's good I'll go ahead and start it up and we should see that go over here into the green section of the charging system uh, part of this chart putting out appropriate voltage within the green. If it was a little weak, it'd be up down here in the red. If it was overcharging, it'd be up here uh, in the red. And yeah, we'll probably see that drop down just a little bit as the battery settles down. And it's got a little uh, starter test. You can read that down here. Load voltage, minimum crank voltage. Anyway, uh, looks like a nice little battery tester. I have two or three of these type of uh, battery testers. And, I mean, they, they do seem to work. Uh, they will give you a pretty good idea of what kind of condition the battery is in. I've used them on new batteries. They always... Uh, report it as being a good battery and uh, I've put them on bad batteries and they will report a bad battery and this battery is five years old and as we saw earlier you know it's not uh, it's not a hundred percent battery but it you know it, it's still starting the vehicle up and it shows that its uh, state of health could be better and uh, so you know the battery is getting weak anyway this is the King Bolin BM580 battery tester. Seems to be a nice little battery tester. If you guys are looking for one of these little battery testers, I've done two or three reviews on different ones. And, uh, you know, you can go through those and take a look at them if you're curious about how they work. 
I, I show I show that. Anyway, this video is pretty much done. You guys take care. We'll see you.